if you are interested, I am giving away free Bibles. So what you can do is email me and we can set something up. May God bless you. I want to talk about any issue that a person may have that they are trying to get rid of. Whether it is a masturbation issue, a drinking issue, as in you are getting drunk all the time, a drug issue, or some other type of issue. What I find, at least for many people, God is not going to really quickly take away that issue from you. What is going to happen, you have to learn how to resist. And through your resisting, you are going to be able to resist whatever it is. And it is going to get to a point where what your problem was or is, you are not going to have it anymore. Some people don't like the hard work. I know for myself, <laughs> I like for things to be easy as well. I don't like the hard work either. But in order for you to stop having that problem, you have to resist it. And through your resisting, those problems are not going to affect you as much as it is now. And then it is going to get to a point where you are not going to even care for those sinful things that you are doing now. Some people may ask Kevin, what can I do in the meantime? Well, what you can do, and even if you don't have any problems, what you should continue to do or do is read your Bible and pray. Go on a fast. Some people have this thing where they have these demonic thoughts that always come to them. Now, before, it would have more of a negative effect on me. But now I am so used to saying no or ignoring those thoughts or binding and casting those demons out where those demonic thoughts don't really faze me. So what I am saying, you have to resist. I know that, let me not say that. <laughs> let me not say that. God is not going to come over to you and change your pamper, per se, if that makes any sense. You are going to have to resist. This person was asking me about something and asking for prayer for something and prayer is good. But even if I pray for you, you are going to have to resist. Let me say this. I believe that many of us don't understand God. We don't understand his ways, so we have this earthly view of how God should be. Look, while we are on this earth, we are going to be tested in the areas where we are weak at. So if there are any weakness within us, it is going to be tested. So yes, I can pray for you, but... 
you are still going to be tested in that area. Kevin, I can't stop smoking and drinking. Yes, I can pray for you, but you are still going to be tested in that area. So, how can I say this? When I pray for you, have you been sick and you either took some cough syrup or some type of pill and it kind of calmed down the symptoms. But after a while, I don't know if that is a good analogy. <laughs> My prayers can make things more weak or how can I say this? When I pray for you, it may make things easier for a while, but you are still going to be tested in that area. So if you are going to pray about something, it really have to be constant. And for all the people that ask me for prayer, <laughs> for all the people that ask me for prayer, do you believe that <laughs> I can constantly, every day, all day, pray for you, all day, every day. I would faint. <laughs> if I were to pray 15 minutes each day for each person that asked me to pray for them, I would faint. I'm serious. Prayer works, fasting works, reading the Bible and praying works, but what I am saying, what you have to do, and all of us, even I, because there are things that I have to fight against too. Even though I pray for things, I still have to resist. <laughs> But there is no other way. Like I said, by praying, reading the Bible, and fasting, that is going to make things easier, but still, you are still, you have to resist. God is not going to come over there and take it all away. Hey, human. <laughs> I am not going to test you anymore. While you are on this earth, I am going to pull back demons to not even bother you anymore. That is not going to happen. I believe people believe that that is going to happen, but no, God is going to allow demons to mess with you so that you can be tested. Even for the people that serve God. I believe people have this misconception where you believe that God is going to do that, like take away everything from you where you are not going to have any more hardships. You are going to be, te man, there was a problem, oh, my Lord, <laughs> there was a problem. Oh, problems. <laughs> Actually, like one main problem that I had that I could not stop. And I would pray all the time for God to take it away. Guess what? <laughs> I had to constantly fight against it. Now I am where I am now where it don't really phase me. But back then, my Lord, I thought that I could not stop doing it at all. And I thought that God was being very mean and cruel for allowing whatever to happen to me. I thought that he was being really mean. I sure did. 
but I had to constantly fight against it. Constantly. Constantly. You have been doing something for many years, something bad, and you expect it to go <laughs> in a matter of a year or two. You may have been doing something ever since you was 12 or 10. And once you are trying to get right with God, you want God to take it all away, boom, like that. That is not going to happen. Chances are. At least for many people or the people that I speak with and from the testimonies I hear people struggle with things they have to resist. Like I said, you can pray, read your Bible, and fast. That is going to make things easier, but you still have to fight against it. I don't know what more I can say about that. There is no easy route. Believe me, if there were, or if there was, or were, I would have found it. <laughs> <laughs> because I pray that this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.